think of pricing like like all businesses in the modern world. It's a supply and demand characteristic, and there's an algorithm that sits on the top of it. So room rates and hotels flex on a on a daily basis, and there's certainly the demand, particularly here in Asia, and particularly for leisure markets as they've come back online, has been you know a feast to, if you will, offset the famine over the last couple of years. So most of our owners, if you were speaking to them, would say rates are at an all-time high. And with the exception of the China market, which has been the last to come back, our last benchmark here was 2019. And rates above 2019 levels in the major markets in Japan and Australasia and Southeast Asia and in India, all well ahead of that time. So in terms of pricing power, you are more than well uh, back uh, to pre-pandemic levels. That's right. In yeah. terms of average rate or the, the cost that a customer would pay on a nightly basis, rates ahead of 2019 already. Wow, that's good to know. You know Alan, if we talk about expansion, I want to ask you about something because I, I, this stat kind of boggled my mind. It said that Hilton is currently operating about 627 hotels here in Asia Pacific, but it's got another 774 in the pipeline. So that's more planned on the way than you're currently operating right now. Is this correct? Yeah, that, that, that's right. The, the boom in travel and tourism in Asia Pacific has been phenomenal. It's certainly been phenomenal to Hilton. We've been, relatively speaking, a late player to market, although we've had the Hilton brand uh, in Japan or in, in Asia in general since the 60s. Uh, largely speaking, our other brands, so the proliferation of the, the larger Hilton company, has been late to market since Hilton went public and private in 2011. And in, since then, we've doubled the portfolio. In fact, over the pandemic, we've been doubling it almost every two years. So when I joined the business in 2018, we had just over 220 hotels. And at the end of last year, as you rightly say, we crossed our 600th hotel mark and 500 in China. And then the pipeline sees us double that again. So record signings, record openings, I'm happy to say.